Could Kaido have beaten Luffy? Let's actually start the video. Now here's why Kaido could have won. One of the key reasons why Kaido could have won is his overwhelming physical strength and durability. Kaido is known to possess immense physical abilities with his massive size, incredible strength, and endurance that allows him to withstand even the most powerful attacks. He is also said to have the ability to regenerate from most injuries, which makes him nearly indestructible. In contrast, while Luffy has become increasingly powerful over time, he still has some limitations and weakness that Kaido could exploit. For example, Luffy's devil fruit powers, while formidable, can leave him vulnerable to certain types of attacks and weaknesses, such as his weakness to water. Kaido, on the other hand, has no such vulnerability making him a formidable opponent. Furthermore, Kaido has years of fighting experience and expertise that he could draw upon. Having fought in numerous battles throughout his long life, he's learned many strategies and tactics that he could use to battle against Luffy, thus getting the upper hand. Kaido has also been shown to have exceptional hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, insane battle sense, and he's a beast in close combat. Kaido has a powerful crew of elite fighters who could support him in battle as well, but that is not the point of this video. We are talking about a 1v1. Now, we all know that Luffy did manage to defeat Kaido with the help of his crewmates, but I believe that Kaido would absolutely stomp him into to the ground in a 1v1 and here's why. Kaido's immense physical strength is shown in his ability to easily lift and throw massive objects and creatures including ships and islands. He is capable of creating massive shockwaves with the strikes, capable of destroying entire buildings and landscapes with a single blow. He's also highly skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat, like I said earlier, with exceptional speed and agility for his size, able to move quickly and deliver powerful strikes with insane accuracy. Durability is another important factor. Kaido's durability is one of the best in One Piece. With the ability to withstand attacks that would otherwise defeat most characters in One Piece, some of them even one-shotting entire crews, it's insane. He has survived being thrown from a sky island, massive falls, and other seemingly lethal injuries. He is also known to have an almost invulnerable body with the ability to quickly recover from most injuries, including those that would be fatal to other characters. Not to mention this dragon's endurance is wild. It's a critical factor in his strength and his durability. He is known to have an incredible amount of stamina, can fight for long periods of time without tiring, and capable of taking on multiple opponents as one, so he can literally 1v20 and still win. It's absolutely wild what his endurance is able to do for him. Kaido also has the Azure Dragon Devil Fruit. It enables him to turn into a giant serpentine blue scaled dragon of eastern origins and absolutely fly around the map at insane freaking speeds and blow flames out of his ass. And one of Kaido's greatest feats is the fact that in his beast form he was able to keep up with Kozuki Odin on even terms and this wasn't even his full dragon transformation. Luffy on the other hand displayed great mastery of gear forth during the fight a technique that allows him to increase his strength and speed to incredible levels. He uses several different techniques and forms of Gear Force during the fight, including Bound Man, Snake Man, and Take Man. Each form has its own unique strengths, with Bound Man providing intense strength, Snake Man delivering fast and precise strikes, and Tank Man offering unmatched durability and defensive capabilities. And while Devil Fruits are great and all, Luffy also uses Honky abilities to great effect during the fight. Honky is a type of spiritual energy that allows users to enhance their physical abilities and senses as well as detect the presence of others. Luffy's Honky abilities include Observation Honky, which allows him to sense the movements and intentions of others, and armament hockey, which allows him to harden his body to attacks, making them much stronger. But most notably for hockey use during the fight, Luffy showed advanced armament hockey, which allows him to imbue his attacks with an invisible force, greatly increasing their destructive power. With this new ability, Luffy was able to land some devastating blows on Kaido and even manage to damage his invulnerable body. But without the help of his crewmates, Luffy would not have survived and Kaido would have come out on top. His strength, durability, and endurance are unmatched during this fight, and Luffy just did not have the capabilities to stand up against him. While Luffy is a very strong character, Kaido would have stomped. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk.